The Spatsizi and Stikine River Canoe Route is located in northwestern British Columbia, in and near Spatsizi Plateau Wilderness Provincial Park. Canoeists will discover an exciting adventure on this six to eight day, 320 kilometer route through spectacular mountain scenery, inhabited by a large variety of vibrant wildlife. you are invited to enjoy what is destined to become one of the most popular canoe routes in British Columbia. This briefing is designed to give you a glimpse of what to expect on the trip and to encourage careful preparation. It is a challenging trip and is recommended for intermediate to advanced canoeists. Beginners should not attempt this route without an experienced river guide. This is a wilderness adventure and everything you take in you must take out. Your responsible actions help maintain the natural state of this unique wilderness for everyone's enjoyment. Spatsizi Wilderness Park is British Columbia's second largest provincial park, over 675,000 hectares. The park is located approximately 900 kilometers northwest of Prince George by road, or about 1,700 kilometers north of Vancouver. To get to the beginning of the recommended route, take Highway 37 to Edithon John Lake and turn east on the Elu Lake Road. Travel east approximately 25 kilometers to the British Columbia Railway grade just across the Clappan River and turn south. This grade is passable by any two-wheel drive vehicle. By driving 100 kilometers southeast along the railway grade, you'll see signs marking the access to the Spatsizi River. A six-kilometer portage trail leads east to the Spatsizi, and the rest of your journey is by river. North, down the Spatsizi to the Stikine River, then northwest through the rapids at Beggarly Canyon and back to Highway 37. It is not possible to carry on down the Stikine west of Highway 37 because the Grand Canyon of the Stikine is unmistakably impassable in any crowd. One of the most attractive features of this route is that after the initial portage to begin your journey, there are no more portages unless you choose to bypass Beggarly Canyon. When planning and making preparations for your trip, keep in mind that the safest months for the route are at low water in August and September. Although it is possible to canoe between mid-May and late October, bear in mind the large standing waves, whirlpools and eddies particularly in Beggarly Canyon on the Stikine River, can be very dangerous at high water. Outfitting yourself thoroughly for wilderness travel and camping is very important, since you'll be on your own for approximately one week. Good physical conditioning is recommended to prepare you for the more rigorous portions. Now, let's go back to the trail that starts your adventure. The portage from the railway grade to the confluence of the Spatsizi, Dedeen, Kluayets Creeks is of low to moderate difficulty to travel. The portage leads directly to the west bank of the Spatsizi River. Extensive grassland meadows beckon the explorer to the opposite shore. Upstream, the river is swift and turbulent with many cascades and rapids. The headwaters of the Spatsizi lie in a beautiful broad mountain valley at an elevation averaging 1,200 meters. Temperatures in the summer are often cool, rarely rising above 20 degrees centigrade. Once moving on the river, you paddle through a defined valley with rugged mountains on both sides. Glaciated peaks rise to elevations exceeding 2,100 meters. Canoeing on the Spatsizi can be generally characterized as a class one, according to the International River Classification System. Some problems with low water levels over gravel bars can be expected on the upper Spatsizi in the fall months when the minimum volume flows occur. The river carries canoeists through the scenic reddish-orange Spatsizi mountains. The native word Spatsizi means red goat, a term derived from mountain goats traveling to these ridges to roll and rub in the iron oxide bearing slopes.
The central portion of the Spatsizi is relatively slow and meandering, with extensive marshes nearby, an excellent area to see moose. Campsites are easy to find. Many sites, such as these sandy banks, are ideal. At Mink Creek, about two-thirds the way down the Spatsizi, the mountain scenery becomes less rugged and gives way to extensive high plateau country. Be aware of sweepers, nearly horizontally inclined trees projecting from the banks. Highland Post is of historical interest. Founded in 1926 by Bob Highland as a trading center, it has been used since for guiding operations in the area. Just north of Highland Post is the Spatsizi Plateau for which the park is named. Here, the wildlife is very abundant. Caribou, sheep, mountain goat, grizzly bear and wolves are frequently seen. The Spatsizi River offers excellent fishing for Arctic grayling. The Stikeen also offers exciting fishing for Arctic grayling, dolly varden, and rainbow trout. This remote area provides a home for a variety of waterfowl and birds of prey, including eagles and falcons. When the Spatsizi meets the Stikine River near the park boundary, the current picks up and the river channel widens. A broad, hilly valley extends on either side. The erosion power of the Stikine strikes the viewer as you glide by enormous banks and rock blocks. It is important to be alert on the river at all times. Jewel Rapids and Beggar Lake Canyon warrant special attention. Huge boulders in the channel at Jewel Rapids produce large standing waves, which must be avoided by good river reading. Downstream velocity is consistently high, with an occasional bar, island, or rock ledge producing steep riffles and some standing waves. Beggar Lake Canyon provides by far the most challenging part of the trip. Here, the mighty Stikine is forced through a narrow gorge. High standing waves, forceful eddy currents, and powerful surges and boils must be avoided. All canoeists should scout the canyon before running it. The portage trail should be used by the wary and during high water. Proper storage of equipment and supplies will save a lot of worry in the fast water and in those bouncy waves. When you are nearing Highway 37, you will see the Cassiar Bridge. This is the end of your journey. It is possible to leave a vehicle near the bridge before beginning your trip on the Spatsizi to facilitate the pickup of other vehicles at the portage access. Complete information on the Spatsizi Stikine River route is available from the BC Parks Office in Smithers. We sincerely hope that you will be one of those who choose to enjoy the exciting experience of the Spatsizi Stikine canoeing adventure.